Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is part of Vlogmas. I believe this will be Vlogmas Day 3. And I'm gonna give you guys a little gift guide. I just scratched some things down that I was just thinking about. Also, I know my hair looks crazy, but let's not talk about it. I'm in my dorm. I literally just got back to myself for like after break. And I have just, I literally have a final on Saturday. So I really have to film before and hopefully I will keep up with a vlog miss. But today we're gonna do a little gift guide for you guys so you know good gifts for all of your loved ones this season. So I broke these category, I broke it down as like categories, practical, sentimentals, festiveness, Christian category, gym rat, the beauty queen, the tech category of what people tend to like. So the first one is just practical stuff. So the first thing I had in my practical category was a massager. And I know these come in like lots of different forms and this also kind of goes with like a roller if someone was into that. And I thought of this because of like the Theraguns. And I know Theraguns, like the brand is super expensive, but I know there are also knockoffs and cheaper versions of them like on Amazon. And I always, I don't have one, but I like always thought they'd be so nice to have. So massager second item would be a tote bag i have such a cute one that my friend lily got me from hobby lobby and take it everywhere it's like i get so many compliments on it like more than anything else i own and i use it way more than i ever thought i would like i would have never bought it for myself but it's so useful um so i think there's lots of cute ones from amazon or even if whoever you're gonna give it to is like creative they could like paint it or like stitch something on it i've had friends who have done that super cute and so number three for a practical is gonna be a planner because obviously it's gonna be the new year soon. And if you are someone who likes to plan, a planner is so fun and you always like to get it before the new year starts, before the new semester starts that you just have it with you from the get go. So I think that is so useful. Fourth item is going to be a fanny pack. This kind of is like the tote bag, but just so handy. Like I have kind of like a bigger fanny pack, like my water bottle fits in it, like my small one. And I literally just use it all the time. So I know like the Lululemon ones have been a trend lately, but obviously there's always the Amazon dupes, which come in clutch. So maybe a fanny pack is what someone needs. The next thing I have is, I just found this out. I just found this company, the Warmies brand. It, they're like, here's a picture. They are the stuffed animals that like warm up or you can cool them down to like a heating pad or a cooling pad, but they just look so cute. So if you know someone who has like bad cramps or like just a lot of aches, like even for like a grandparent possibly, I think this is like such a cute and like useful gift. And my last item in my practical category is gonna be a new wallet. As I've got older, I know that wallets get absolutely trashed and I see my parents with like their falling, pop, falling apart wallet and I finally got like an actual wallet and they kind of fall apart pa fast. So if a dad or a grandpa like a nice leather wallet would be super nice or if you have a mom, sister, grandma, aunt, a nice one from like I got my wallet from like Nordstrom Rack and I love it. So I think a wallet is very useful thing to have. Okay, so my next category is going to be the sentimentals. But before I go into all the sentimentals, I have like an overlap one, and it's a mug. My mom loves tea, loves coffee, so I always like to get her a new mug. It's practical, it can be sentimental, because we got if you get like something on it, something cute, it can be sentimental, but it's also practical. So if you have someone in the middle, maybe think about getting them a mug, or a travel cup of some sort. I think those are great. Everyone loves them. But for my other sentimentals, the first thing is just a framed picture of you and whoever. Especially like grandparents, I feel like love these gifts more than anyone. And it could be like so cheap and they just, they'll cry at it, they love it. So if you have someone sentimental, that is a great gift, I think. Secondly is a new ornament. 
Again, grandparents love like little ornaments that you get them like with a picture of you guys in them or just of something that reminds them of you. I think those So I'm currently editing this very video and I realized that my words were all jumbled up and I did a terrible job at explaining what I meant. So what I meant like in the last sentence was just to get um like not a framed ornament, just any ornament that like remind you of whoever you're giving this to. So example, like my grandparents, we always went camping together like when we were younger in a camper that they had. So one year we got them like a little camper ornament because it like reminded us of all the times we've like gone camping with them. So like that kind of thing, not like a picture. So I hope it clarifies. And the last thing on my sentimental category is a one line a day book. I actually got one for myself at the beginning of this calendar year and so I'll put a picture right here and it's for five years you write like a sentence one line of what you did that day or what happened that day and so like the top will be like January 1st 20 blank so then you would write like I guess for the next year you write 2023 20, write a line of what happened and then over the years you can see like what happened on each day throughout the years. I hope I'm explaining that well enough, but that's basically what it is. And I think it's like so cool. I'm obviously haven't done a whole year yet, but I think it'd be really cool once I can see like what I was doing last year. I think it's just a really cool way to like, it's like a small, easy version of a journal kind of to keep some little memories in there. All right, so my next category is festiveness. I guess like if you want to get them a holiday themed present like we're doing a little Christmas box I think those are so cute for a friend um or really anyone so if you're gonna do one of those kinds of presents this year here are some ideas first slippers these are so cute and I know they have like the slipper sandals I've been looking at those on Amazon and with them so bad they're so cute so you can never go wrong with slippers for literally anyone. Anyone I feel like would love slippers. Um, or if they're not a big slippers fan, fuzzy socks. I personally don't want fuzzy socks because I live in Florida now. But when I was in Ohio, I was always dying for them. I feel like I never had enough. So slippers, fuzzy socks, a win-win. Third, peppermint bark. If they're a sweets fan, you need to get them peppermint bark. I I have not had my peppermint bark this year. Maybe that'll be another vlog this video coming up. But I love peppermint bark and I just don't know how you can go wrong with that. Um, fourth, is it fourth? Hot chocolate mix. I love hot chocolate as well. And if they're festive, love sweet things as most people do. Hot chocolate, sweet one, which you could also put a mug, if you're doing like a Christmas box, a mug with the hot chocolate mix. I think that would be adorable. So that's super cute. And then lastly for my festive category, I guess, would be a Christmas blanket because who doesn't love a good Christmas blanket? They're so cute. You can buy them Amazon Target, Kohl's, like I feel like anywhere would have them. And they're normally, you can probably find them pretty cheap. The next category is my Christian category. So all of these ideas for this Christian category came from one website and that is the Daily Grace Company. I will put like a picture of their website or their URL or something up here. They have the cutest gift. They have a gift card on their stuff too. But one thing I first thought of is they have really good like Bible study books. So if you want to go through a certain book of the Bible, a certain topic, um, they have really good books that and studies that are weeks long. You have something to do every day. And I got them last year and I love them. They're like very aesthetic. They have men and women's and they're great. I love them. Secondly is they have highlighters and pens are just super cute. I got them for my friend last year and she says that they're great and they don't like bleed through or anything. So if you need some of that, go check them out. And then Bible tabs. I know one of my friends like loves having Bible tabs and it just makes it so easy obviously to find right in the Bible. And they have like really cute ones. Um, so if you have someone who likes to be like, super organized, that, I think that's a great idea. And then lastly, it's just a new journal because I feel like everyone needs a new journal. I probably get like two or three a year. So even if they have a lot, I feel like everyone uses them eventually. Um, 
I'm gonna be, that's the end for my Christian category. I'm trying to get to this rapid fire. Um, next category is your gym rat friend or relative, whoever it may be. So the first item is something that I personally want and I'm asking for, and it's a barbell pad because it is so bad. The ones at my gym are like super thin and if you put like any weight on it, it just hurts so bad and you need like a good supportive one. So I know there's lots of good ones on Amazon. And then the next thing would be a lifting bell if they're maybe moderate into fitness. That's like about where I am, I would say. Like I'm gonna need it really soon and I would probably never get around to buying one. Um, so I'm also asking for a lifting belt. And then the next two is if someone takes pre-workout or creatine. My sister both wants both of these for Christmas because, you know, they use them every day, they use them all the time. So whoever the gym rat in your life is, get them some pre-workout or creatine. And then the last two are kind of basic, I guess, but a new water bottle because Everyone needs to stay hydrated, which I guess this could go for anyone. And also new shoes. I use, I lift in my vans. I literally got them last year for Christmas. And I feel like I already need a new pair. So if you know someone who they always wear like the same type of shoes to the gym, maybe they need a new pair. And maybe that's just what they need. So that is the end of the gym rat Christmas gift guide. Moving on to the beauty queen whoever that may be in your life. My first thing I thought of is a jewelry box. I've seen a lot of cute ones with different like holders and pockets for all the stuff to stay organized and like not get tangled. Speaking of not getting tangled, a necklace stand. I had one of these on my old house and I don't have any more and I really miss it. And it was just so nice to hang them all up, see them all and know that they want to get tangled. So nice. And they have a lot of different kinds and colors sizes on Amazon. Next up would be a makeup bag. If you don't have one big makeup bag, then you need one because it's just so nice to have everything in one, everything sorted, and then a lot of times I feel like it's nice to just like keep it in there year round, and then when you go somewhere, you just close up and take it with you. And it's so nice. Um, the next thing would be an exfoliating scrub because let me tell you, when you do an exfoliating scrub, you feel so refreshed and I never do them enough, but I love them and I never buy them for myself. And I feel like those are so fun to do like, you could do a little self care day, get your exfoliation. And I love all the different, like I feel like whenever you see them, they make so many different scents and stuff. So that's so fun. And then my next thing I said was a necklace, which could also be a sentimental thing if you get them like some kind of personalized thing. They also have really cute necklaces on the Daily Grace Co. So go check those out. Um, my last idea for the beauty king category is nail polish because I feel like I'm always losing it, running out, spilling it, who knows. So just I think a simple nail polish. Like last year, me and my sister and my mom just kind of like a basic nudie pinky like palette, I guess. They have really cute ones on Amazon. We can just get like four to five different colors. But I think that is a great idea. And now for my final category is the tech category. I didn't have that much on here because I feel like some people are very particular. But my first thing is a speaker because I want a speaker. Um, I think having like a nice small portable waterproof water resistant speaker. It comes in handy so much and I really want one. So a speaker, and I know these can be expensive, but I know there are also cheaper ones out there, especially Amazon. Amazon is where I look for everything. I feel like you can find good dupes for everything. Secondly would be a keyboard cover. I got this a year or two ago and I absolutely love it. It just like keeps your keyboard way cleaner and it's so nice. So if you know what kind of computer somebody has, I think that is super useful and nice. Yeah. And you can get them in like fun colors and patterns too, if they would want that. And then lastly would be a new phone case. This is another thing that I myself am asking for for Christmas. Um, if someone is about to get a new phone, just got one maybe for Black Friday, um, or even just got one recently, I think a phone case is such a practical and good gift. So that is the end. I kind of went through this fast, 
but I hope that helped you think of something to get you or friends and family this holiday season. And I will put links to anything that I personally have bought and that I know is great. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, look out for the next Vlogmas video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!